In this video, I will show California scientists breeding citrus in order to overcome a deadly disease. This includes pollination and growing the resulting hybrid seeds. Huanglong Bing, or HLB, the deadliest known citrus disease, is spreading in California. HLB is spread most readily by humans who are unaware of the disease and by the Asian citrus psyllid, which is currently present in California. Presence of the disease makes it difficult to grow citrus fruit, especially at home, because trees die in just a few years. It also makes the fruit taste bad. The disease kills all of the citrus varieties most enjoyed by people, but scientists have discovered that some Australian native citrus relatives show natural resistance to the disease. I recently visited the University of California Riverside so that I could show you how citrus breeders there are working to overcome HLB. Experiments have shown that the Australian desert lime can provide resistance to HLB. This means that new citrus varieties with HLB resistance can be created by breeding Australian native citrus with conventional citrus varieties that are susceptible to HLB. Bees naturally pollinate citrus flowers. Citrus breeders carefully perform controlled pollination by choosing both the male and the female parent varieties. For each male parent used in breeding, flower buds are first collected. The flowers are then manually opened with tweezers. The anthers, the male part of the flower containing the pollen, are removed and placed in a petri dish. The dish is placed underneath an incandescent light for the anthers to dry using the heat of the light bulb. The dried anthers are placed inside a vial and crushed with tweezers to release the pollen. The vial is then stored for later use. The female parent for this particular cross is a pomelo. One problem for citrus breeders is that some citrus varieties exhibit a trait called nucellar embryoni where plants originating from a seed are clones of the mother tree rather than hybrids of the mother and a male parent. One advantage of using a pumelo as a female parent is that pumelos do not exhibit this trait and always produce hybrid offspring. The first step is to open a flower bud. In order to avoid self-pollination, anthers are examined closely to make sure that they are not already shedding pollen. If they are, another flower is chosen. The anthers are removed, again to avoid self-pollination. Next, pollen collected from an Australian native citrus relative is applied with a paintbrush to the stigma, the female part of the flower. A bag is placed over the flower and a label identifying the cross is attached. The bag not only excludes bees with other pollen, but also makes it easier to keep track of and monitor the fruit. I was excited to be given the chance to perform one of the crosses. However, the chance of success for this cross is only about 3% because the Australian varieties are such distant relatives of the pumelo. The success rate for close citrus relatives is about 5-8%. to Citrus breeding is a numbers game and hundreds and hundreds of crosses are required. When a cross succeeds, the flower will develop into a fruit with hybrid seeds. When the fruit is fully mature, it drops off of the tree and into the bag. The fruit is cut in half very carefully to avoid damaging the precious hybrid seeds. Another advantage of using a pumelo for the mother plant is that there are a large number of seeds and thus a large number of offspring. The seeds are extracted from the fruit and then treated to remove pathogens. First the seeds are washed in water. Next, they are placed in a cloth bag and immersed in a 5% bleach solution for 10 minutes and then rinsed. Then the seeds are heat treated by increasing the temperature to 52 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. The seeds are sown with the seed coats intact. The plants are grown inside of an insect-proof greenhouse. Here you see hundreds of hybrid seedlings. When the hybrid seedlings are of sufficient size, they are cloned by grafting. Some clones are for diagnostic testing to determine if the new hybrids are resistant to HLB. Other clones will be planted in the field. It takes many years for seed-grown citrus trees to flower and bear fruit. When the new hybrid trees eventually flower, the fruit will be evaluated and the trees can be used for further breeding. Citrus breeding is a very long-term process. In an optimistic scenario, these efforts could result in new citrus varieties with HLB resistance within 10 years. Meanwhile, your help is needed to slow the spread of HLB. 
I've made a video playlist with things that you can do to help slow the spread of the disease. Because HLB has been detected in Southern California, including Los Angeles, Orange County, and Riverside County, there is a severe threat to all citrus trees in these areas. The breeding work shown in this video is taking place in the UC Riverside Citrus Variety Collection. Should HLB spread to the Citrus Variety Collection, it would jeopardize this work. In order to protect the collection, money is now being raised to build an approximately 3-acre cups or citrus under protective screen structure to house new trees of each cultivar and species in the collection. The structure would protect the trees by excluding the Asian citrus psyllids that spread HLB. You can help to support the research shown in this video by making a tax-deductible contribution to the Citrus Variety Collection HLB Prevention Initiative the link in the video description below. And please help by sharing this video. Thank you.